So here is Final Lap. This was one of my first games that I got for free off of a local forum and it was in pretty rough shape. Last time I updated you guys, I think I had told you that one of the sides wasn't working. We got that working. We've repaired a steering wheel. It recently had a problem with one of the gas pedals uh, only working intermittently, but it turns out what it was uh, was a bad pot on the brake pedal. So the brake pedal was acting like it was being applied. You'd push the brake and it just couldn't seem to actually reset back to zero um, in a sense. So replace that and it's been good to go. Uh, I did my best to repair the side panels on this cabinet. I'm not gonna be able to show you the other side. The other side was worse. It was missing a chunk out of the corner which was filled with Bondo. And we painted that with some flat black. But it's in much better shape now than it probably has been for several years. I also took the time to repaint the coin door and then when I repainted the coin door, I noticed that there was some masking tape on it. And as I took that masking tape off, I actually found that it had a left and right player sticker underneath it, which was kind of cool. So we managed to save that. T-molding was a little bit messed up on that center part, so I replaced it with some leftover red T-molding that I had from the Badlands right next to it. And that just kind of highlights that little center console there and says, hey, don't hit your feet on it. Other than that, not much else has been done as far as repairs go other than putting the thing back together. I swear this thing was probably dropped off of a truck at some point, and it will it was never going to be straight again. We got it back together the best we could. Uh, but it's not pretty. And unfortunately, I'm afraid that if we move it again, who knows what will happen to it. But we managed to get it down here. Uh, it went through these double doors right here. If I didn't have these double doors, there was no way it was going to come in to the basement. We rolled it down the hill. And we used a pallet with two moving dollies screwed to the back and we laid this on its back. So we laid it on its back and it managed to hold on for the ride down. We had actually had to use two four by eight sheets of plywood and leapfrog them through the grass essentially. We tried rolling the pallet on the grass and it, it moved like an inch, even on the downhill part. So there we go. It's in, I'm happy that it's in. It actually is taking up less space than I thought. Uh, we were questioning whether or not it was gonna fit between this lolly column and the wall with the heater there, and it, and it does, which is great. So we were able to actually have that down further. I was worried that it might not fit, but we've, it fits with a few inches to spare. At the very least, I was gonna be able to wedge the post in between the corner, or in between these two seats here to make it fit, but there we go. There's final lamp in and up and running at the moment. Hopefully we can keep it that way. All right guys, thanks a lot. I will keep you updated on any of the other projects that manage to start. Uh, Donkey Kong cocktail project should be starting soon and I'm excited for that one to get going. All right guys, have a good one.